I'm I deaf. Know. I'm like, but, but they haven't, they haven't, they haven't called me. I'm just, you know. They're yeah. like Raphael's our boy. Still yeah. fight it. Yeah. <laughs> but it. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold the vote on proposed intro number 342A, sponsored by Council Member Debbie Rose, which relates to building accessibility. Many buildings constructed before 1990, when the requirements of the Americans with Disabilities Act became effective, do not have permanent ramps at entrances to ensure accessibility. Instead, many of these buildings provide portable ramps, which can be available upon request. However, it is often unclear whether a portable ramp is available at a given entrance and who to contact to request it. Proposed intro number 342A will require buildings that provide portable ramps to post at each inaccessible entrance that a portable ramp is available and the number to call to request it. It would also clarify the requirements for portable ramps to ensure that they are, un that they are usable and safe. I'm joined today by Council Members Rosenthal, Espinal, Chin, um, Cabrera, Rivera, and Perkins. We can now ask the committee clerk to call the roll. Matthew DiStefano, committee clerk, Committee on Housing and Buildings, roll call vote on proposed intro 342A. Chair Carnegie. I vote aye. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. Aye. Espinal. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Rivera. Aye. By a vote of 70 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the item has been adopted. We're going to leave the roll open for seven minutes.